I started life as a documentary filmmaker. And then through that, I realized there are some spaces I couldn't reach through documentary filmmaking, because largely the drama of a documentary has almost already happened in a way. Whereas within drama, that's what you can do. So that, that's what drew me to drama directing. As a director, I'm quite attracted to ideas that aren't too fully formed on the page, if you like, that enables me to work it a little bit more with the actors and, um, and in a space and it enables me to, I suppose, be a bit more creative and have a little bit more author authorship on the storytelling. I'm probably most interested in contemporary subjects, stories that I think in some way do shine a light on the, if you like, the darker recesses of society and help us understand some of those more complex problems. I tend to ask quite a lot of questions of the actor about their understanding not only of the script but of the character and the world that their character inhabits and how much responsibility they feel towards that character if they are a real person. We work on a scene and then I try and move the scene in various different directions that I don't think is necessarily appropriate for the scene, but I just want to see how they respond to me and how they respond to the direction. And then we start to find a kind of common language in which I think, okay, I can work with this person over a nine-week period or over a five-week period or whatever the length of the shoot is. I always expect that there is an openness and a discipline. Yes, learn your lines. Um, but also understand your character, do work, ask questions about the background of this character. But equally, don't be too dogmatic about who you think this character is. You hear these horror stories of actors saying, my character would do that, as if they have a kind of otherworldly knowledge of their character. I'm happy to enter into that discussion with any new actor, but I think that preparation is key, listening is key, Listening to the other actors is key. Learning from the other actors that may be more experienced is also key. And yeah, just working really hard and make sure you turn up and make sure you're on set on time and make sure you're not messing around, you know. Be serious about your craft. My only advice would be try and do a variety of acting, being positive towards everything that you do and question, yes, but not to the point that it, you know, starts to impede on the schedule that you're working to and, and try and keep your quality as high as you possibly can and be a great listener. Ultimately, acting isn't simply about delivering a line of dialogue in a well-balanced way. It's sometimes about being an active listener to the other actor. And I know that sounds really simple, but I do find that New actors can sometimes forget that there's another person in the room or several people in the room and they all tend to get very fixated, the younger actors, on their only, on their one thing and they want to do that one thing and I've seen that many times. Having a variety of tools in your kit bag of acting is really useful, not just doing one thing. I think I'll always be interested in telling um, stories about people are conflicted. The next film I want to make is about the, inspired by the life and times of Samantha Luthwaite, who was the White Widow, whose um, husband, who she married when she was 19, blew himself up on the train on 7-7. And she denounced him, um, but then had to come to terms with the fact that she was in love with a man that blew up a load of people. So yes, I think I'll continue to make films or TV programs about um, difficult characters that in some way, hopefully, help us understand why people who do radical things do them. <laughs>